Alrighty. Hey guys, what's up? Matt here with Loon Outdoors and today we're uh, up in Mount Shasta on the upper Sacramento River. Trout season's just kicking off and we wanted to talk to you a little bit about line care. Um, I really relate line care a lot to uh, taking care of your automobile. Um, if you're into washing your car and keeping it clean, fly line care and cleaning is, is kind of the same idea. Um, you know, dirt builds up on your car, you gotta use, you know, polishes, waxes, um, all sorts of cool stuff to keep it looking optimal to, uh, you know, maybe you're cruising down to the river to pick up Mr. Brown Trout and he likes a clean car. Um, so the first one that we're going to use, and we're going to talk about floating lines at this point, is Streamline. Uh, Streamline is something that you throw in your vest pocket, um, your jacket pocket, whatever you fish with. And halfway through the day, say we're fishing runoff, everything feels a little bit dirty, distance on your cast, your men's aren't quite the same. Um, throw some streamline on, let it dry a few minutes, and overall it's just gonna be like a great little slickening agent that helps you get out there that extra two feet to where Mr. Brown Trout lives. Um, the next one is a little bit more in depth, so you know we go from your basic car wash up to maybe a wash and it has carnauba wax built into it. So um, it's kind of one of those all-in-one things. Maybe you're not the full-on auto polishing detail king, but uh, it's going to be our Scandinavian Flyline Cleaner. Now this one not only cleans, but it also protects. So you can use one of our little applicator tools here. Nice sheepskin and wood made in the USA. Put some on, run your line through it, let it dry, get back out there, and fish. You're going to get a little bit more afloat a little bit more distance and a cleaner fly line, which means easier men's and a better day on the water. So the big dog here, this is, uh, this is the one where you're, you're crushing it. You're going full car washed, you've got the toothbrush out, you're going polished to a wax. Um, I mean, you're pulling out all the stops on this one. Um, and that's gonna be line speed. Now the benefits here are, you're gonna do a full cleaning on your line, you're gonna apply this, and much like a car wax, you wax on, you let it dry, and you wax off. Um, and that does take a little bit more time. We'll explain it as I go through the process here. Um, but what it's gonna do is UV stability. It's gonna fill in the micro pores in your fly line, allowing dirt not to get in there. Um, it, it's gonna you know, polish, it's slick, it's gonna cast further. Um, some of the best stuff on the market. So in order to use this, um, you can see here, I've kind of got my beat up lineup kit. Comes in this handy carrying case that we provide. Um, and, and overall, it's just a cleaning pad and we're gonna walk through it. So I have a little chunk of fly line, we won't do the whole thing here. Um, this is a wonder cloth. You can use a microfiber. Typically we'll get it a little sudsy and wet. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this through first and foremost and start cleaning this line. I'm dropping it into a bucket. Once we start doing this, we don't want this to get dirty again. So a two bucket system, everybody's got a five gallon bucket. Um, it works out great. So I'll go ahead and pull this through. We're imagining this is like, you know, maybe you're using a little Dawn dish soap. It breaks dirt apart, breaks up that surface tension. That's fine. So you can see, even after that short little bit, we already have some dirt on here. And that wasn't even, the full Monty, so to speak. So sometimes I'll pull this through. If it's a warm day, it typically dries off pretty quick. This isn't a timed event. Just take your time, do it at your leisure. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of line speed and I just apply it in there onto our line cleaning tool. I like to massage it into the wool. Now this will get built up over a while and you won't have to apply as much. Um, Next, what I do, it's kind of like when I'm making a dubby noodle, I like to press it hard enough to where I, I press the colors out of my nails. And I would be putting this back in another bucket. This is a low budget operation. We only have one bucket today, I apologize. Um, so, what we're gonna do is we get this all dialed in and keep cleaning. And I don't mind if you run out onto your, your butt section of your line, whatever. Um, we're going to let this sit overnight. 
just let it chill out. Maybe it's the night before you're going fishing. Um, wake up a few minutes early and you're gonna pull this one last time. So you can either use another clean line cleaning tool to do a buff, like on a car, or you can use a microfiber towel. It's, it's really up to you. So the last one <coughs> is we're gonna go ahead and buff this out. And we're gonna drop it in the bucket so right now we're buffing this line, making sure everything's getting cleaned up, cleaned off, and providing that like, you know, that car show shine to your, your fly line. Keeping it safe and improving the longevity of your line. Lines cost like 80 bucks. This is a far less expensive option. Um, once you get done, we go ahead and reel it up. And you're ready to go fish. I cleaned a lot of that line. That's probably pretty good. So the last option, and this is for your streamer guys. Uh, this is a sinking line cleaning option. Um, one thing to do is use some sink fast, the way I use this. I spray a liberal amount, shake it up, spray a li liberal amount on my line cleaning tool and run my sink line through it. Let it dry for a few minutes and you're good to go. <coughs> <coughs> this isn't going to change your sink rates. It might bring your sink rates back to normal. If you imagine that you have a bunch of micro contaminants sitting on your line that are in the pores, you clean that off, you re-lubricate, you're going to be good to go. A lot of times you're dredging with that sink tip or, you know, sinking line. Um, so it's a great product, improving your cast and keeping your line nice and conditioned. So that guys is our basic little four items that we have for line care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.